guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and this is perfect for New Year's Eve. It's very glamorous, very sexy and girly and bombshell-ish. I don't know what to call it but I hope you guys like it. So if you want to see how you can get this makeup look then just keep on watching. So I'm of course going to start off with priming my eyes and I'm using MAC Soft Offer Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And this is also really good because it cancels out any redness or any veins on my eyes. So this is a perfect base. So I'm also going to use a little bit underneath my eyes because I'm going to use a lot of eyeshadow there. And I don't know why but I feel like I look so ridiculous right now. I just look so weird. I feel like my eyes were like so perky and weird. But now I'm going to go in with a really light shade from the Morphe 35O palette just to set the eyeshadow base, like the primer, so it isn't as sticky. So now we're going to start with the crease and I'm using the Kylie Burgundy palette and I'm using the color Penny. And I'm doing a little bit of a different technique in this look and I'm actually focusing most of the color in my inner crease. So you can see I'm focusing in mostly in my like inner corner-ish. And this is actually a really, really cool effect. I really do challenge you guys to try this because it just really does something to the eye. I love it. And then for the outer corner, I'm going in with a little bit of a lighter uh, crease shade. Normally, I do it different, but I kind of do it in a reverse, reverse <laughs> look today, and I just really like it. So next color I'm going to use is this dark shade. This is from Kylie Palette, and this is called Almond. And I'm using a small pencil brush, I actually going with a little bit of a smaller one as you can see here. Just to focus it in my crease area and also mostly in my inner corner as you can see. And then I'm just going to go in with a blending brush just to blend everything out. Then I'm going to go in with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful champagne color from Morphe. Oh my god, I love this. This is perfection. This kind of like a foiled eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. And what I'm doing a little bit differently in this look than normal is I'm taking it a little bit higher up than normal and that makes my eyes look so much bigger. It's a new technique I started doing and I absolutely love it. So as you can see, it just makes my eyelid look bigger and kind of do like a false crease. And I really like it. So then I'm just going to go in with the darkest shade again just to really define that crease area. I'm doing like a half cut crease. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of that champagne color in my inner corners as well just to brighten up. Then I'm going in with Kat Von D Trooper uh, Eyeliner, the tattoo liner. And I'm not doing a dramatic wing. I'm actually just going to line my lash line. And then I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow. This is just a black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Corrupt. And I'm just using a uh, angled brush and just kind of doing a wing with the eyeshadow. And then to make it a little more smoky, I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush on top of this. It's just so it will look really like smoky and I really really like this technique. You can also use a little bit of eyeshadow on the pencil brush but mostly just to blend. And then it is time to work on the face and I'm using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and this is just a very moisturizing and nice primer. I really really like this as a base before my foundation. It just makes it glide on easier and it smells like coconut. Duh, it is amazing. <laughs> and then I'm using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. It's my current favorite. I use it all the time. This is actually the first time that I use it with a brush and not a beauty blender. And I actually like it a lot more with a brush. As you can see, it has full, full coverage. It is beautiful. This is definitely a, a foundation for you if you like a full coverage foundation because it is very, very full coverage. Also has like a semi matte finish. It's perfect. I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to conceal some blemishes with the NYX HD concealer and I'm just going to pop this on the places that I need a little bit of extra coverage. Then I'm just going to blend everything in with my beauty blender. I love using my beauty blender with concealer. It's just my favorite way because it just makes it look so natural. Then to highlight and just like light up my skin a little bit, I'm going in with Too Faced 4 in this way concealer. This concealer is just so nice. It's like so hydrating and light on the skin. I really, really like it for the under eyes. And I also like to highlight with this concealer.
To blend out the concealer, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender because it's my favorite tool to blend in my concealer. It just makes it so natural and just like blend so nicely into the skin. Then to prevent the concealer from creasing, I'm just going to go in with this inside loose powder just to bake my under eyes. And as you can see, I'm just holding my shirt up like this because normally I get powder everywhere. So I was just like protecting my skirt. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just pressing in the powder underneath my eyes makes it really, really flawless and lasts all day. I'm also going to use the same powder just all over my face just as a regular face powder. Then I'm going to go in with a NYX slide on pencil in a black color just to line my waterline because now I'm going to start working on the lower lashes. Then I'm going in with a black eyeshadow on a pencil brush very close to my lash line uh, trying to make it as close as possible. And then I'm going to go in with a brown eyeshadow just as close as I can. I use the Kylie eyeshadow palette, the uh, almond color and just try to smoke it out as much as possible. So then I'm just going in with some mascara. This is the, what is it, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And then I'm just going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. It is my favorite contour palette and I'm just using the light yellow shade underneath my eyes and the other places that I highlight my face. Then I'm going to go in with the, the shade, shade play I think it's called, uh, the middle color and the shade on my palette just to really lightly just contour my face. Then for blush, I'm using my favorite. This is NARS Orgasm Blush. It just works with every look. I love it. So I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm using Becca Champagne Pop. It's just my favorite highlighter ever. It's like the perfect mix of like champagne, gold, peach, I don't know. It just really works nice on my skin tone. And as you can see, I really am digging the highlight. <laughs> I'm just going to use a little bit down my nose, on my cupid's bow. And then it is time for the lips. So I'm using uh, the Subculture Lip Liner from MAC. I don't know, but I just I don't think I like MAC lip liners that much. They're so freaking dry. But I was using it for this look because it's like the perfect color. And then for lipstick, I'm using MAC Myth. I think this is like the lightest shade that MAC makes. And it's super duper light. But it looks very nice if you have a gloss on top. So I'm just going to use it all over my lips. And then I'm going to go in with a lip gloss. This is also from MAC. And this is the Dream Lover color from the Maria Carey line from MAC. And uh, this is so beautiful. I love this uh, lip gloss. And the packaging is just incredible. So I really hope you guys like this look and if you're going to use this look to New Year's Eve, don't forget to tag me and let me know that you're doing it because I would love to see you guys do it. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys will have an amazing new year. You guys are freaking amazing. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next year. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye.